alkanes are organic compounds that contains carbon atoms connected with only single bonds. What are the rules for naming alkanes? The first basic rule is take the longest continuous carbon chain as the root hydrocarbon. Now consider this hydrocarbon. What is the longest continuous carbon chain? Let's number that. One, two, three, four, five. If we number the other way around, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. This way, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That is the longest continuous carbon chain available in this substance. Therefore, this is the fifth hydrocarbon, is the fifth alkane known as pentane. So we're going to write that down as pentane. Rule number two, number the carbon atoms to give the lowest number to the substituent. We have numbered from this point. The substituent is at number three. Let's number from the other point. One, two, three, four, five. The substituent is still at number three. Now let's identify the substituent. The substituent is CH3. And that substance is known as methyl. Methyl. Therefore, the IUPAC name for this stru structure is 3-methyl pentane, 3-methyl pentane. Now let's take our second example. The first rule is take the longest continuous chain as the root hydrocarbon. Let's identify the longest continuous chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 If we number from anywhere, we have six carbon atoms apiece. Therefore, our first deduction from this is the substance, the parent substance is hexane. Hexane. The parent substance is hexane. Rule number two, number the carbon atoms to give the lowest number to the substituent. Now let's number the carbon atoms from this point. One, two, three, four, five, six. The number from that point it is one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's number from the other point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rule number two says number to give the lowest number to the substituent. We come from this point. The lowest substituent here is number two. But from this point is number three. So we're going to take number two since that is what the rule says. Number to get the lowest at the substituent at the lowest possible number. So let's identify the substituent. There's one at position two, another one at position four. There's one substituent at position two, another one at position four. What are these substituents? One at position two is methyl. And the one at position four is ethyl. Position two is methyl, position four is ethyl. Now let's take a third rule on this one. When two alkyl groups are substituted, Name them based on the one that came first alphabetically. Therefore, if we count the numbers of the alphabet, E is numbered first before M. So E comes before M. So in, num in naming this compound, we start with E. 4-ethyl, 2-methyl, hexane. 4-ethyl, 2-methyl, hexane. Following the simple rules, we have to number from the simplest point to get to this functional group. And using the letters of the alphabet, E comes before M. So the name, the IUPAC nomenclature for this substance is 4-ethyl, 2-methyl, hexane. Now, our third example. How do we name this kind of structure? 
Let's go back to our basic rules, the simple rules we need to name this structure. First rule, take the longest continuous carbon chain as the root, root hydrocarbon. Now let's consider the longest continuous carbon chain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think one, two, three, four is the longest continuous carbon chain. Therefore, the parent name for this is butane. Butane, because it has four carbon atoms as the longest continuous chain. Rule number two, number the carbon atoms to give the lowest number to the substituent. Now let's number this hydrocarbon. One, two, three, four. Number one, two, three, four. This substituent will be on number two. Let's number the other way around. One, two, three, four. We do that. One, two, three, four. This substituent will be on number three. So one, two, three, four is the correct order of numbering because it gives the smallest number to the substituent. So, on carbon 2, we have a methyl group. Also, carbon 2, we have a methyl group. So, let's write it out as 2-methyl and 2-methyl. 2-methyl, 2-methyl. Now, the IUPAC nomenclature for this is 2 2 di methyl butane there's two methyl two methyl so that is two two dimethyl butane 